Hi, I am making this video so that you can see what it takes to take care of monarch eggs and monarch toddlers, which are like less than a millimeter bit wide caterpillars. Okay. Okay, here's the terrarium that I have the little babies in. And here are just pieces of leaves with eggs on them. So like, for example, you can see those little white dots. These are eggs that we're waiting to ha get blackheads. And when they have blackheads, we move them over to here. These are leaves with little babies on them. So like, for example, you can see this guy has a little toddler on it. And then there's some over there, okay? Now, every day, because you're taking a leaf from the garden, they dehydrate. And you don't want the leaf to dehydrate. So what I do is I come over here to my milkweed collection. And every day I pick a leaf to clip, fully wash, and replace. And I'll show you how I do that. You just get a regular pair of scissors. Now, because these little toddlers are so tiny, I don't want to get a huge leaf. I want to think long term. I want to take maybe a smaller leaf. So I'm going to take this one here because it looks like a good size. It doesn't have too many critters on it. And I'm going to clip it. So I just go right to the base and I clip right there. Okay, right at the base. Immediately a little bit of milk sap comes. I bring it all the way inside, straight to the sink, and I give it a good rinse because you don't want to invite any uh, eggs or critters that might hurt the, 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 the caterpillars. Um, ants will eat the eggs and aphids might hurt them and damage them. So you give it a good, good wash, okay? Now the crucial thing here is, um, it's nice that there's a little bit of extra moisture here, but you don't want so much moisture that it will drown those little guys. So you kind of want to get it like that. Now this is going to be the delicate part, is switching this leaf out for this bunch of dry stuff. It's delicate because these little caterpillars are so tiny that if you're not careful, you could very easily squish it with your finger, um, forget that one's on a leaf and discard it. So I'm going to take you through that process. Okay, so first um, what I'm going to do is take out the whole thing, okay? I've got this here and I've got my new leaf right here, okay? I'm gonna, first, here's one leaf. Okay, this is pretty dry, but there's a little guy on it. I don't know if you can see him. Um, I am gonna carefully cut off the part of the leaf where I don't see any action. And then I'm gonna turn him upside down on the new leaf. And that is so that he can just easily, that I just turned him upside down on the leaf so that he can easily just jump on that new leaf and start munching, okay? All right, let's see who, what else we got here. Now this is um, a little bit delicate because what we did do was put a couple of, um, pieces of leaves that had eggs on them on here. And the reason is because when I looked at them underneath the microscope, I saw a black head. And thought that they might be hatching soon. So if the little guy didn't hatch yet, just put them on the leaf, okay? Just put them right on the leaf. All right, moving right along. Got to be very delicate in opening up 
this leaf because you just don't know where these little guys are. Oh, I found one. Mm-hmm. Hi. Here's one right here. See him? So I take my scissor. I just cut off a little part that I think, you know, is useless. Take a good look at him. Make sure he's doing okay. Yep, he's doing fine. And I turn him upside down. There he is. I turn him upside down and I put him right on this leaf. There you go. See? Okay. Okay, so occasionally I find a shriveled up piece of leaf that's already in there. And even though I look very closely, I can't find anything. I feel like, oh, well, I shouldn't throw this away because I can't confirm that there's nothing on it. And mainly because it's so dried up. So I just put that on the leaf, right? Um, this way I don't accidentally throw any little guys away. Look at how cute he is. Okay, here's an example of how you can easily miss something. So see that guy right there? He's pretty big. He's almost as big as my thumbnail, right? Now let me turn this over because you'd think, oh, and look at that. That is a newly hatched baby right there. See him? You gotta watch stuff like that. That is a new one day old baby that hatched from an egg. There he is. I don't even know how he got here. And there's another one right there. So because there's these two and this one there, I'm just gonna turn this guy upside down on this leaf and hope to God that they sort of make the migration. So now I've got my package and very gently, I'm gonna put it on my napkin and I'm gonna lift it up and I'm just gonna put him in there like that, okay? Until tomorrow, I will do the same thing. In the meantime, what you need to do with these eggs is use the magnifying glass to identify whether any of them have blackheads, okay? And all I do is I take my magnifying glass. I mean, if your young eyes are better than my old eyes and can just see it, then awesome. But for me, I like to really look. And right now I don't see any black. Oh, actually, that's a lie. See this right here? See that right there? That is a black. That's a white and that's a black. So what I'm gonna do with this little guy, who is gonna come out of his egg probably today, is I'm gonna clip this off and put him in this little patch here. And I'm literally just gonna put him like this so that he, oh, so that he can have access when he comes out to a juicy leaf. Let me just make sure he doesn't roll. Okay, and that's that's all I'm doing, okay? These little guys, they're not gonna starve because when they hatch, they eat their egg shell first to get a little energy. So you do have, you know, they're not like gonna die immediately. But anyway, that's how I leave it. Okay, so that's pretty much how you take care of eggs that you're trying to capture from your milkweed and toddlers. Um, when they get bigger and they're eating that leaf to the point where you feel like that's not enough food, you're going to want to move to the next stage of feeding, which is to take a sprig of the milkweed, put the, the, the branch in here, wrap it in um, napkin, fill this with water, secure it, and then let it stand in the terrarium or in, in the place. And, and then you just put your caterpillars on there and the water will help keep the, the sprig alive for more than just a day, maybe two or three days. Um, and again, you do the same process of making sure that you're looking and not throwing away any cute little guys, okay? All right, well, I hope this was useful.